The Lafayette Leopards force one of the top 10 scoring offenses into overtime, but Albany strikes in the 95th minute for the win. I'm Adam Dubrovowski. We'll be joined by our player of the game, Christian Moist, momentarily. But first, head coach Dennis Bond and coach, the best defensive effort from the team this season, facing one of the top offenses in the league and forcing them into overtime with no score until that final tally. Yeah, I mean, proud of the whole group, not just the defenders and the keeper, but, you know, the, as a team, they executed what we set out to do, and that's kind of slow them down. Um, fortunately, there in overtime, we couldn't, you know, shut them out uh, and get the result, but um, but we definitely showed a, 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 you know, a defensive intensity that I think we've been lacking a little bit the, so far this year. And obviously that's important. We'll get to uh, the game on Saturday against Bucknell. But Patriot League season about to start up, a time for the team to really get some momentum. And it, I, I think, was a good sign to show how the defense uh, played against one of the best offenses. This would kind of be a springboard, so to say, uh, against Bucknell. you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I think it should be a confidence builder that we can play against some of the, you know, top forwards in the country and and and, and shut them out for again 90 minutes. But you know, you got to go 110 if it, you know if it goes to overtime. And unfortunately, we didn't do that. But you know, every game I just told the boys today is, is just another opportunity to sharpen the knife. And you know, tonight though we didn't get the win, uh, we keep sharpening the knife, and the, the tide's going to turn for us. Best wishes prepping for Saturday. Thanks, I appreciate it. And now our player of the game, Chris Moisen. And Christian, obviously uh, a tough way for this to end in overtime, uh, but you guys had a, a really hefty task on your hand. One of the leading strikers in the nation from Albany, Afonso Pinheiro, you held him without a goal and really held him without any good looks for about the first 90 minutes. So your thoughts overall, being the captain, how everyone else played around you? Uh, everyone was just sticking to the task. Um, like Coach said, we had you know a task in mind. We just wanted to execute, and that's what we did out here tonight. Obviously, uh, you know, the way that you guys have been uh, having to be tasked against one of the top offenses in the league to, to, to fight into overtime. Do you think this is one that can help build the confidence, especially for some of the underclassmen to see that, hey, look, we might have had some results not go our way, especially defensively, but here's to show what we can do come Patriot League play. Oh, absolutely. It's a big step for our team. You know, um, we were down for the first couple of games, but this game is really a springboard. It's really a confidence booster, and uh, going into Patriot League play, we're coming out, um, you know, all guns are blazing. Good job today, Chris, and best wishes for Saturday. Thank you. And again, that game will be Saturday. It's a 1 p.m. kickoff. We'll have it on the Patriot League Network. For the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Adam Dobrovolsky.